Hi, this is Sridhar. Next, we are going to see the X path and followed by X query, XML query. The XML query is also used to read or retrieve the data from the XML document. Previously, we have seen about XML sequence, which also does the same thing to read or retrieve the data from the XML document. So XML query is also used to read the data from the XML document. For this, we will be using the X path more frequently. What is X path? X path in the sense, previously we have, we have seen about slash row set slash row. It means slash row set. Row set is enclosed first in the first and then in the last of the XML document. And row angle bracket, row tag is enclosed for each and every row. So if you want to include all the values, if your X path contains slash row set slash row, it means all the XML elements under these two angle brackets, all the XML elements under these two XML XML elements, all the XML elements are under these two tags, row set and row tag. So this is the X path. So you can also include the condition inside the X path. For example, if you want to retrieve a particular employee ID, if you want to retrieve the salary greater than 10,000 for, for all the employees, so you can also write the condition. If you are writing this condition, you have to include it into a square, bra square brackets and this is called as predicates. This kind of including conditions in the X path is called as predicates and using this pre predicate either you can find a specific node value or the node contains a specific value. Let's see about the inbuilt X path available. Here I have given the X path, row set and row name as employees and employee. Employees is the row set tag name and the employee is the row tag name. So even you can, as I said earlier, even you can change the name of the row set and row tag name. So the first X path expression is slash employee slash employee employee of one within the square brackets you have given one it means you are going to retrieve the data of the first employee present in the xml document what is the xml document this is the xml document you want to retrieve the data of the first employee employee of one employee of one means you are going to retrieve the data of first employee the first employee is 114 so all the details will be retrieved if you are using this predicate or if you are using this kind of X path. Same like that a slash employees slash employee of last. Last means it is going to retrieve the details of last employee. And same like this slash employee slash employee of last minus one means last before employee. So it will retrieve the all the XML elements of the employees last before that. Same like this if you want to do in our case, in our case the name is row set and row not the employees and the employee. So if you want to change it you, you can give it like this. Replace employees by row set and employee by row. Next, we can also include the condition for the given X path. How you will include the condition? If you want to search for a particular employee, then you have to give the row set slash the row tag followed by within square brackets, you have to give the condition. What's the condition? The employee number is equals 200 or 117 anything. So in our case, you can rewrite it as slash row set slash row of employee id equals 117 this is a condition which we can give it in x path if you want to retrieve the all the employee records whose salary is greater than some amount uh, say 10000 then you can give it as slash row set slash row why we are giving this slash row set slash row because 
these are the inbuilt tags the row set is the tag which is enclosed in the first and last of the xml document and the row is the tag which is enclosed for each and every records so we are including this row set and row and what we have to retrieve the salary which is greater than 10,000 so you want to retrieve the data whose empl employee's salary is greater than 10,000 so you can give the xpath predicate like this so any kind of expressions can be included in the xpath and if you are including this kind of expression this is called as predicates and this predicates normally we will define it in inside these square brackets and before this square bracket we, we should give the row set and row tag name that's all about the xpath next we will give we will see the xml query xml query is basically used to query the data query the data of present in xml format the data is in xml format and if you want to query the data from the xml format you will be using the xml query and uh, compared to xml sequence xml query is somewhat uh, uh, easy easy to understand because in xml sequence you will be writing extract value extract will be constructing the table table of xml sequence of extract of uh, the column name these things you won't be writing in xml query it is somewhat simpler compared to xml sequence and uh, it is a standard function not the oracle not oracle specific and this xml query this is the important one xml query it returns the results in xml it will return the results in xml it means f for example you want to retrieve the first name whose salary is greater than 10000 so the result is den den is the employee whose salary is greater than 10000 in this table in this table only den employee is having more than 10000 so if you are querying the data then it will return the result as within angle bracket first name den and closing the angle bracket of first name you will be getting the entire thing as a result so this kind of output you will be getting for xml query that's why i mentioned that xml xml query returns the query results as in xml in xml format itself not as a relational data format so it will result it, re it re returns the result in xml format unlike in xml table which we are going to discuss later it will return the result in as it is that as in relational data format that is it will return the result as den only den is the employee is having whose salary is greater than, greater than 10,000 going to the syntax the syntax is xml query of the xpath the xpath might be a simply slash row set slash row or you can give the condition also and you can give you can give the condition and which column you want to retrieve for this condition you can say like that that also you can give the condition and you want to you can also say which column you want to retrieve for this condition passing is a syntax passing followed by the column name which column you are passing to this expression to this xpath expression which column you are passing and returning the content returning content is a syntax and everything is enclosed within the parenthesis and you can select the statement from the txml the xml table let me execute this select statement here i am writing xml query of row set followed by row this is the tags which we have defined for this xml table this xml document is enclosed within row set and each record is separated in row so i have written row set slash row and what I, I i want to retrieve the job id whose first name is shelly is not here whose first name is den i want to retrieve the job id whose first name is den so you can write the condition as first name equals den and what 
column you want to retrieve i want to retrieve job id i want to retrieve the job id whose first name equals den passing the syntax followed by the column name what is the column name column name is xml underscore call in t underscore xml table returning content is the syntax what are the contents it's retrieving same same thing and everything is included in within the parenthesis and this job id is the alias name from the table t underscore xml if you run this got the result if you notice the result is in angle bracket normally you will be expecting the result is pu underscore man because the job id for den employees job id for d and den employee employees pu underscore man but we are getting the result as we are getting the result within the xml tag that is what xml query will do xml query will retrieve the data in xml format itself it won't display the data in relational format same like that you can replace conditions what are the conditions you can do give it here let me replace salary salary is greater than 10000 you know only one employee whose salary is greater than 10000 and what you want to retrieve you want to retrieve the first name uh, let me give last name salary is greater than last name is the alias given i want to retrieve the salary whose uh, i want to retrieve the last name whose salary is greater than 10000 i have written the condition in the x path condition is salary is greater than 10000 within the square brackets and what i have to get i want to get the last name in xml format rafali rafali is the last name let me check one this one is having greater than 10000 salary yeah rafali is the last name let me go to the next example here we have we are getting the result only one row result is displayed if there are multiple rows then how the data will be how the data looks like yes here the condition is i want to retrieve the first name whose job id is p underscore man because in our xml document we have many records whose job id is p underscore man this one is clerk p underscore clerk p underscore clerk no we have p underscore clerk many times so let me change p underscore clerk yeah i want to retrieve the first name whose job id is p underscore clerk got it getting the result alexander shelly seagal guy karen these are the employees whose job id is p underscore clerk first one is alexander shelly seagal guy and karen these are the first names whose job id is equals p underscore clerk so we will be getting the result but the result is in xml format that is the only thing in xml query but in xml table which you are going to discuss later in xml table we will be getting the result in relational format that is only the value will be displayed say for this in this case alexander shelly only the value will be displayed and not the xml tag we'll be discussing xml table later thank you